this is Jeff from Stu41 Gaming and I'm back with another tutorial video. I'm going to show how to set up a custom background on your Xbox One console. So to do that you either need a flash drive or what I actually think might be simpler is to set up a DLNA server on your Windows 10 PC or I imagine this works fine on 8.18 and it was first introduced in 7 so I imagine it would work there too. So with a flash drive it's actually really simple you just put the image you want on your flash drive plug it into your Xbox One and then uh, launch media player and it should be able to find it like right as it pops up it'll see your flash drive and you can just choose it from there but the DLNA server thing is if you don't have a flash drive I think it's actually a little bit simpler even though it could be a little bit confusing at first so first you just gotta open your control panel and then you gotta search up in the top right hand corner search media and then right here media streaming options and now you'll see a thing uh, if, there's, if this is already set up it's obviously very easy you're good basically already but there should be a thing that says to allow access to your uh, uh, files it allows this hitting it just allows access to your photos videos and I believe something else it's photos videos music duh music photos videos and music from any other uh, uh, like computers or con Xbox console mainly on your uh, Wi-Fi network so you just hit allow access and then you'll see this and then you m won't see your Xbox one yet because um, as we switch over to Xbox you'll have to download the media player app and you just have to download it and then we launch it and then you'll see your computer here and my totally grayed out email so you hit that and you see everything that's on your computer uh, that can be shared which is music pictures and videos and if you want music you just hit music and we see down here it has a whole bunch of different folders let's just say all music it's showing as a demo here and you see all, all the music I have on my computer a whole bunch of awesome heavy metal but you, and you can stream all that music as well but for desktop backgrounds you just go here you see pictures I'll just hit folders and then takes a few seconds to load everything oh wait I have to hit pictures again for some reason I have like three pictures folders but you hit pictures and then then it takes a second to load everything and you get to see all the weird ass crap I have on my computer but let's just say this Aqua Teen Hunger Force Doom thing uh, you just hit A on it media player actually crashed out there so we hit <laughs> whatever picture you want to see and here this one you hit start and you can just hit set as background it's that easy and that's all there is basically to it to set up a desktop background a custom desktop background it's literally that easy actually not all that difficult at all like I said I'd actually recommend doing it with this streaming service system thing it's incredibly easy and you don't have to worry about a flash drive conk it out or uh, just moving it back and forth and whatnot stuff like that I think this is actually a lot easier you just gotta set it up and get it working firsthand so and that's basically all there is to it